guys and welcome to another Witch's Boudoir slash Zandra Sparks makeup tutorial, product review and unboxing. Um, and today, yes, I should explain if my hair looks like more red on camera, it's because I dyed my hair last night and it's kind of, as you can see, it's kind of gone really frizzy and yeah, but I actually really like this colour, so yeah. Um, yes, today's blog and video is all about the April subscription box for Look Fantastic. Um, as you guys know, I had a really bad experience with Birchbox this month and I've literally said no more Birchbox at all. Um, there's many different reasons. Um, as you guys know, I did go back to it a couple of times to try it out again because people were saying, oh, this box is really good, you should you should resubscribe and I'd resubscribe, the box would be really good and then it would follow on to another box, which was just like, no. Um, this month, you know, it was like, it was a pretty box, it was a very nice box, but the actual products weren't worth the money. I mean, I was I noticed that I was getting repeat products and it was like yeah no I'm not interested in repeat products you know this isn't exactly fair when you're wanting to try different new products and you're getting the same products again and again and again so yeah not exactly good for me um but as you guys know I did say I would try and subscribe to another subscription box and my son is hyper sorry about that my son decided to come rushing through just as I start filming. Um, so yeah, as I said, I wanted to subscribe to another box. And yeah, as you guys know, um, I did tr subscribe to uh, Look Fantastic a couple of months ago and I really liked that box. And then I went back to Birchbox. Um, Look Fantastic is a sister box to Glossy Box. They do kind of coincide with one another, but they are very, very different. The boxes are very, very different. Um, I do like Glossy Box, um, you know, the first time I got Bl Glossy Box I was a bit hit and miss with it, I was like, mm, is it worth it, is it not? Having gone to Glossy Box again, it was like, yeah, I prefer Glossy Box over Birch Box any day, and again, I like fan Look Fantastic, so yeah, I've gone back to the Look Fantastic. Um, this box for this month, for April, um, yes, I know it's a little bit late, but, you know, I had to balance a few things out. Um, so yeah, this box is a very nice cardboard simple box, um, obviously it has the Look Fantastic logo, I think this is very eco, it's quite nice, um, but I do, I will say, I do like the fact that it's got a silver band around the edge, so yeah. Um, I haven't actually opened this box, I will say this box does feel very weighty, bear with me. So yeah, I will say this box does feel very weighty, but as always we have the beauty magazine which you get in every box um, this tells you about the products that are inside the box which I won't, won't open and of course you have the magazine L which does make it a little bit more weighty so yeah this month does look very bright and colourful um, I am looking forward to actually checking out this magazine so yeah um, so as you can see it's nicely wrapped in tissue paper it's this gorgeous lemon colour um, it's actually quite pale um, but yeah, it is very bright, it's very colourful, it's very springtime, so yeah, I'm just going to rip into the tissue paper, if I can, if I want to let me. I will say that both Glossy Box and Look Fantastic always do look really nice in the actual um, packaging. As you can see, they've got this gorgeous tissue paper, and then you have the products all nicely displayed. So yeah, by the looks of it, these are products that, you know, there's one product from a brand that I've seen before, two products that I've seen from brands before, um, but a lot of this looks like new products to me, new brands to me, so that's always fun. So without further ado, let me get started and pull out a few products. So firstly, I'm going to pull out the Bella Pereira Cosmetics, which is a little lipstick. Um, this is actually a brand that I do like. Um, I do use Bella Pereira Cosmetics quite a bit. I have a, I think I have a lip, uh, another lipstick from them. I have a shimmer. I have a few little products here and there, um, but I'm always interested to see what other products I get sent. And this is in the shade Envy, which I'm guessing is a very brownie neutral shade. Um, personally, it's probably another shade that I will use as a neutral tone and it's quite nice on the swatch. I will say it does feel a bit glossy. Um, it does smudge, smudge out quite nice. 
and it does have a slight chocolate smell. Um, yeah, very chocolatey, which is, again, nice. Um, something that I can enjoy. Um, next is the, the Noah Bay, no, Noah Bay or Origin. Origin, sorry. Can't read this morning. So Noah Bay, the Origin Re Recovery Mask. Um, and I believe this is just a face mask. Yep, um, it reduces redness, irritation, and stinging sensation, moisturizes and nourishes the skin, working with its natural barrier to improve stress, uh, stress response and regeneration. So basically, this is a skin, uh, skin mask that helps your skin basically rebuild itself, um, fight against bacteria that's in the air, things like that. So that's gonna be an interesting one. I've never actually come across Noo Bay, um, so I will have to look into that brand. Um, I'm sure over time I'll probably come across them again. Um, the other brand that I know of is Balance Me, and this is the Vitamin C Repair Serum. Um, this is 98% natural. Um, this is a brand that I don't always get on well with. I actually have used their cleanser, one of their cleansers, and I have used one of their eye moisturizing cream things. Um, as you can tell, I wasn't impressed. Um, I do still have that eye cream. I've used it maybe three or four times since having got it, um, since like reviewing it, um, after reviewing it as well. And to be honest, it's not a brand that I really like. I like brands that are very natural based and things like that. Don't get me wrong, but when it comes to the balance me stuff, I'm always disappointed with their products so I will be trying this out but I'm not holding up much hope for it um I do like my serums um I do have a lot of serums that I love um one in particular is the um revolution super fruit because you can use that not just as a serum but as a primer as well and that's what I do um I do have a few other serums as well but I will be trying this out hopefully it is okay next is the Crow Gorgeous Back Into The Roots 10 Minute It's Stimulating Scalp Massage. So basically this is a, a nourishing, moisturizing hair mask. It's a hair mask, that's all it is. Um, so yeah, basically you massage this into the roots of your head, which for me may be a problem considering I've just dyed my hair. Um, but yeah, um, Hopefully I will get a chance to try this out um, and see what it's like. Um, I will say that the packaging, you do get quite a bit in this brand. Um, I'm thinking this is a deluxe mini, um, if not full size, but this does look a pretty interesting packaging. Um, I will say packaging wise, probably a little bit simple, um, but the backing to the writing of what the brand is, is a little bit Mitch matched. It's a little hard to read for some people. Um, I actually have to turn it so I can actually see the letters. So that's not exactly a plus point. But I will try it and see if it's any good. Next is a Emma Hardy the Mardis Touch Revitalizing Cream. Um, this is a deeply hydrating and moisturizing face cream. So basically it's to lift your skin, get rid of wrinkles, things like that, um, tighten the skin, but also leave it a little bit more elasticated. Um, so yeah, interesting brand. Um, I haven't ever used Emma Hardy's stuff. However, I have looked at their stuff before. Um, whenever I've been into like Debenhams and I've seen uh, an Emma Hardy section, I have looked at their stuff. I do think they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. They're a bit like um, Estee Lauder at times. Um, I will say the packaging is quite pretty. Um, it's sort of like this pearl-esque green. Um, so I'll be interested to see how this turns out. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for that product. I'm just trying to figure out if I've you if I've used it before. No, this is one that I've definitely not used before. I did, ha I have tried, I think, one Emma Hardy product while I was in store once, and I didn't really love it. <laughs> um, next is the 
Aha Avaya Dead Sea Salt. Now, I like my baths, and usually when it comes to baths, I use a lot of bubbles, and I generally add just normal table salt or rock salt to my bath, which can be very drying to the skin. Um, I don't do it every time, um, but I do do it like once. Um, if I've done a lot of like exercise or if I've done a lot of hard work and my muscles are sore, that's when I use like table salt because it helps relieves those toxins out of your muscles, helps your muscles relax, means that you can get to sleep easier. Um, I always find that Dead Sea salts are too much money for what they are. Even Epsom salts are too much money for what they are sometimes. Um, but having been sent this, I will be using it. Um, this is the Dead Sea salt, natural Dead Sea salt, uh, Dead Sea bath salt. But, um, from the looks of it, it is just like a normal small size. This is a 250 gram, which I would say is small. Um, I know that you can get like massive bags of like sea salts and that, so yeah. Um, I will be trying this out. Um, I will say I'm impressed by that. Um, I've never actually received dead sea salts in a, a beauty box before. Usually I get shower gels or, you know, hair masks and things like that. Um, and okay, yes, I've got a hair mask in this box, but yeah. Um, overall thought, thoughts on the April Look Fantastic box. Um, personally, I'm interested to see how these products turn out. Um, I was planning to do like a kind of makeup slash um, unboxing. However, because there aren't that many actual makeup products in this box, I'm going to hold off doing that. I will use the uh, Bella Pereira lipsticks on Tuesday's blog. Um, just to save time. Um, but yeah, basically I am impressed with this box. Um, again, I don't feel disappointed with this box. I will say that Look Fantastic is a little bit more money. I think it's about £15. Um, but to be honest, you get a hell of a lot of stuff with it. Not only do you get like five or six products, you also get the magazine as well, which I would consider a bonus. Um, that in itself, you know, it's paid for itself in many ways. Um, so yeah, overall thoughts, I do like look fantastic. I will be sticking with it for a couple of months, seeing if it like either gets more or gets less. Um, if by the end of the three months I'm going, uh, I want a new subscription box again, then I will be looking for a new subscription. However, I will say that I will be getting um, new boxes every so often. Um, next month I probably won't get another new box purely because I want to balance out a few things. Um, the following month I will probably get another subscription beauty box. Um, I do have a whole list of beauty subscription boxes as well as food subscription boxes as well to try out and review. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of things coming up. Um, I will say that sometimes I do feel a little bit overwhelmed by subscription boxes um, when they're advertising. Um, I don't know if anybody else feels that when you're looking at, at subscription boxes. Like they show you all these wonderful boxes that they've done in the past and you find out those boxes were like two years old and they're advertising those. And then, yeah, you go and look at their actual current box and it's like, yeah, what happened? What, ha what happened? You went down the pan. <laughs> so yeah, I've had one or two of those moments. Um, on the plus side, I will be reviewing a few other boxes as well. Um, I'm not sure next month I will get a chance, um, but hopefully I will. So yeah, I shall see you all on Tuesday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend remaining. My son decides to bring get his trains. Um, so yeah, I shall see you all on Tuesday.